Okay, so we started the first college of population health in the country. It's led by an individual named David Nash, who really sort of invented the science. But we've done a really bad job implementing it. And, and part of it is because, and it also speaks to your second question, the reputation of Philadelphia is, yes, we have five academic medical centers, but the reputation is all we do is beat each other up. And I think that uh, one of the things that we did at Jefferson is, so if you look at any academic medical center's website in Philadelphia or beyond, it's always about innovation, community engagement, diversity, social determinants. You look at how that CEO gets paid, it's about EBITDA, hospital <laughs> census, to the doctors I play golf with like me and US News and World Report. So I wrote an article which was a bit controversial that, you know, if you want to look at what your hustle is going to look like, ignore what the board says, ignore what's on the website, ignore the mission and vision, look at how the hospital CEO is getting paid for the next 10 years. So we actually started one of the first, where 25% of my personal incentive is, is what's happening in Philadelphia, things I have no control over. Our last gala was not to build a bigger MRI or proton machine than our competitor. It was to create the Philadelphia Collaboration for Health Equities. And what we're doing now is starting to partner with the social agencies, with, with others. Mm -hmm. We just got a $3 million grant for South Philadelphia to go after a specific community that's getting underserved. We started the first refugee clinic, and whatever your views on immigration, the fact is there were 250 women that got no prenatal care, that was showing up to emergency rooms nine months pregnant, that now get, that, that now get prenatal care, thanks, thanks to, full prenatal care, thanks to Jefferson. So I think we're, we're starting to address it. What I'm really excited about is that we're having really good discussions with Penn and Temple and others around how we can start to do that together, you know, that, 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 that we're really not competing when it comes to either innovation or health equities.